So Sony has recently released a pretty cool commercial showcasing their ridiculously strong lineup of PlayStation 5 exclusive games. This commercial includes the upcoming Spider-Man 2, the Horizon Forbidden West DLC, and probably the main reason you clicked on this video in the first place, and that's Final Fantasy 16. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer and break some stuff down. So the trailer itself is called Live from PS5, and the theme of the commercial is a news broadcast that is taking place inside of a PS5 with the anchors throwing to reporters stationed in the various PS5 worlds reporting on what they're seeing. Our first stop is Manhattan for Spider-Man 2 where Spidey has wrangled up some criminals in a web. We then see Peter and Miles swing away from the scene. So presumably they both kick some butt and then left to take on the next random crime that has popped up on their little mini map. Now, if you're someone who hasn't played Marvel Spider-Man or the Miles Morales expansion, then you are missing out. Those are fantastic games with satisfying and addictive combat, great open world exploration, and the first game possibly has the best Spider-Man story told within the past 10 years. Yes, that even includes the MCU stuff. Now, I'm not expecting this, but I am crossing my fingers that we get a co-op mode for this game. Swinging around New York with a friend fighting crime would be Amazing, that pun was intended. Moving on to our next story, we have a reporter who is following Aloy from the Horizon series as she discovers the ancient ruins of San Francisco. Again, Horizon is another phenomenal franchise with really fun gameplay that allows you to be super creative with how you approach enemy encounters. It's also one of the best looking games out there right now in my opinion. And of course, we have the upcoming Horizon DLC, Burning Shores, that is set to release April 19th. The first game's DLC, The Frozen Wilds, was even better than the base game, and I'm hoping this one is just as good. I cannot wait to see what new enemy encounters that Aloy will have in this DLC, new characters, new weapons, new areas to traverse. I am super excited. I cannot wait. Up next, we have a Swedish reporter in Midgard reporting on the devastation of Fimblewinter. We then see Kratos and Atreus ride by on their two sled wolves, Specky and Sviana, who are two ridiculously good girls, as they are presumably on their way to stop Odin. I finished God of War Ragnarok recently, and wow, what an incredible game from start to finish. The story, the character development and interaction and combat are all spectacular. If you haven't played the two recent entries in the God of War franchise, then you are missing out. They are must plays, again, in my humble opinion. And if you would have told me years ago while I was playing God of War 3, ripping the head off of different gods and dismembering them, that in the future, a God of War game would have a Kratos that would have amazing, deep character development who would make me cry, I would not have believed you, but somehow Sony Santa Monica pulled it off. Now we get to the reason everyone is most likely here, and that is Final Fantasy 16. We have a quick shot of a Japanese reporter detailing the epic icon battle between Ifrit and Phoenix in an abandoned area of a city. No idea if this is supposed to be Valisthea or Valisthea, depending on your level of literacy. It's a quick shot, but you can see that they completely recreated the CG renders for Ifrit and Phoenix, and they look jaw-dropping. I really do wish we could see more of this blend of live action and CG because it's really well done and showcasing that fight between those two entities in particular, again, just reiterates the core of what Final Fantasy 16 is going to be. That mystery of Ifrit versus Phoenix, the two different Ifrits that we saw, what's going on? Now, Final Fantasy 16 has had a steady flow of marketing since spring of last year, and with the game releasing soon, I expect that marketing to ramp up. Yoshi P does not sleep, and for the next few months, neither will we. The trailer then ends with a quick montage of games including Ratchet & Clank, Returnal, Gran Turismo, and a quick snippet of Ghost of Tsushima, which again is stupid good. If you have a PlayStation 4 <laughs> or a PlayStation 5 and have not touched Ghost of Tsushima, you are a crazy person. Play this game now. It's amazing. It's got a great multiplayer mode that's free. The combat is super simple, but there's a surprising amount of depth in certain areas of it. It's super addictive. The parry system in that game is phenomenal. Standing and waiting for an enemy to strike you only for you to parry them in slow motion and end their life with one stroke of your sword is a powerful feeling. <laughs> Play Ghost of Tsushima immediately. Now, this is the end, and I really love trailers like this. It makes these games feel important, but it also makes them feel part of a bigger ecosystem, like it's all connected. It also reiterates how strong Sony's exclusive lineup of games really is. There's pretty much something here for everyone, and I know a lot of people
people often joke that a lot of Sony's games are all third-person, action-adventure, story-driven games that you watch rather than play, which is probably true to an extent, but these are really great stories, and the stuff that happens in between those cutscenes is a lot of fun with the gameplay, including Ghost of Tsushima, The God of Wars, The Horizons, even Returnals, all kind of similar to a degree, but very unique as well. So that is pretty much the video. I am Curious Corduroy. Please leave any of your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What did you guys think of this really cool trailer? It's a really unique blend of live action and CG, which Sony is known for in their commercials, and they always usually look pretty good. Are you excited for this lineup of Sony games? Maybe you're new to the PlayStation ecosystem and you haven't played the Horizon games or the God of Wars or the Spider-Mans. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.